It is day six of the Jussie Smollett trial. It's officially underway at 26th and Cal. Yeah, the actor is back on the witness stand being questioned by the special prosecutor now. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick joins us live from outside the courthouse. Meredith, you've been following this closely. What's happened so far this morning? Adrena Ryan Smollett was on the witness stand for six hours yesterday. This morning, things picked up from where they left off. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb referred to video of Smollett picking up the Osindaro brothers at their home in Lakeview, then driving near the scene of the attack. The brothers testified the trip was a dry run of the attack. Smollett says he picked them up to drive around and smoke weed. Webb also brought up calls and Instagram messages between Smollett and Abel Osindaro the night of the reported attack. Smollett says the two were supposed to take the train that night and talk because Smollett's flight was delayed. Smollett denies the calls were to coordinate the fake attack. The two were in communication up until about two hours before the reported attack. Smollett testified he then went to a Walgreens in his neighborhood at 2 a.m. under the impression all drug stores were open 24-7. He went on to say there's no way for him to know whether or not the Osindaro brothers were the ones who attacked him, and he doubts every word they say. Smollett has remained adamant throughout his testimony. No hoax occurred. It's anticipated the jury will receive the case later today. Reporting live outside the Layton Criminal Courthouse, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News. Meredith, thanks so much for those updates. We appreciate it.